So we're now into the new New Who era of Doctor Who, so does this mean that if he ever comes back he's going to be a new, new, new Doctor? Because it'll be the third incarnation? I mean, yeah? Hello guys, welcome back to New Who HQ, I am Matt, and today I'm exploring something that I see so much and I want to speak about it, and that is if David Tennant will ever return to Doctor Who, yeah. This is quite a interesting thing. Now, um, yeah, I'm on Facebook a lot, quite in quite a few Doctor Who uh, groups. I've even seen fake articles and people posting fake posts that David Tennant is returning to Doctor Who. This is mainly just to get views, to get people talking, to get likes, because obviously he's a, you know, if you wanna get yourself noticed on social media, you're gonna put around the favoritist Doctor is coming back. It annoys me a little bit. Definitely. I adore David Tennant. I absolutely love him. Um, but there are a few problems as to why him coming back would not be good for the show. So, of course, in terms of how possible this is, I think, first for me to think about in terms of actually, if, could this happen? And the answer is yes. I think the problem is now is that it is very, very possible, which kind of makes it a bit more likely that he will return because he has his own TARDIS. Um, he is retired, you know, he's got a lot of time, but he's also ready to go and move whenever he wants to. And obviously I know that if I'm right in saying this, because the Borough generation is still a little bit in my mind and it's kind of a little bit confusing, but if I'm right in saying this, he, he will be regenerating into Shooty when he next regenerates. Now also he could obviously mess this up where he just stays as the Doctor forever, somehow. But either way, I mean, there's an opportunity there for him to come back. So I think now that there is such a easy way to bring him back, surely fans are now, you know, this is how fans are responding, saying, bring him back. We loved him. We wanted more of the 14th Doctor, so let's have him back. And I could see this picking up quite a bit when Shooty starts. I've even seen a little bit of it just from his Christmas special, because if people don't like a certain incarnation, and this is Shooty for a number of years, but just after his Christmas special, people that have been negative about it, you know, rubbish episode, blah, 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 the end of the paragraph, they then put, why not bring David Tennant back? So straight, so now what you've got is you've now created this sort of parallel of, okay, if this isn't doing well, then we'll go back to David Tennant because we know he can, can come back. And we couldn't do that before because he'd regenerated and it wasn't that easy to bring him back. You had to do some sort of timey-wimey thing. Now, he can be alongside Shooty. And there is merit in this, but I'm mainly seeing more negative to this. The merit is, is that you could have Tennant come back in a spin-off, uh, which, yet again, I have issues with because it'll be alongside Shooty. But you could also literally have him alongside Shooty for a special, uh, for an episode he could come back and, uh, you know... We love multi-doctor story, so the chance to do a multi-doctor story now is much easier than it than it has ever been. So that can obviously be good. But as long as it's, I think what I'm trying to make out here is that as long as it's in a shorter, you know, in a smaller proportion, and we're not getting loads of him, uh, to the point where we're just forgetting about the current Doctor, because if this keeps happening, and if Shooty has his first season and his second season, and people start not to like him, and then there'll be calls for Tennant to come back, a, you're going to really overdo the David Tennant effect to the point where um, people will absolutely adore him, which could backfire, because if he ever comes back and maybe his story isn't very good, then people are going to be really disheartened by that. Um, to the point where people get so attached to Tennant that we'll never be able to move on as a show, and as I said, a lot of people do say, including me, that a love for this, you know, a reason why there's a lot of love for this show is because of its um, ability to move on and create new things, and you won't be able to do that with Tennant always being here. The more times you bring him back, the more sort of, you know, whisking around in the fandom you're going to be doing of, oh, you know, let's keep bringing him back, because then you sort of get into a routine where it's like, oh, he's coming back every every year or so now, so why not just make it a thing where he just comes back, and then we always have like a, oh, it's that time of the year, David, you know. I may be overthinking this and overdoing it, but honestly, I know this fandom reasonably well, and I know what can happen, where at one point we wouldn't ever think this would ever be a possibility. Now we are, and as someone who was starting to see it slowly coming, I'm thinking, okay, Shooty's not even properly started yet. And there's been a reasonably positive reaction to Shooty, which is great, but this isn't just on Shooty, this is to future incarnations as well. Devon is only in his 50s, he's got several, many, many years left, hopefully. Um, so this could... This sort of 
rumour could be going around for many, many years, but it just annoys me seeing the amount of people that are put in the heat of returning just to get people interested, just to get people looking again. And people are now saying, I will not watch unless he is the Doctor. He has been the Doctor, he's had his time, he came back again, which many Doctors don't, as the 14th Doctor. Let's give it a rest. And I am someone that adores him, but when you overuse something, it will always end up in a bad way. You see when things get overused, uh, where they bring back characters. The only thing I would be happier with would be him in a spin-off. Away from the show and him in a spin-off. And that is not when Shuji's series is on air. Yeah, I think that definitely anniversaries and special occasions, I think bringing him back is great. Um, and I've sort of heard this a little bit with Donna as well. He normally comes with Donna now. It's the Doctor and Donna. It's, um, I've seen hints of Donna. Now, Donna haven't got so much of a problem with returning because it's not like the main character. I think her coming back, you know, it makes a lot more sense for her to come back. She got off a job in Unit. Um, so maybe even with Rose already confirmed to be coming back in the new series. And uh, it kind of... She could even come back in Series 14 or Series 1. You know, and I love David Tennant, but, but this isn't a one-man show. And I feel like if we keep bringing him back, that's what it's going to become. But let me know what your thoughts are. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and give this video a like. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.